Hi, my name is Angelo Montilla for Creative Pro. This is a sneak peek of my session for the upcoming Design and AI Summit, which will be hosted online December 9th and 10th. This session, titled InDesign and AI, focuses on ways AI could be making your life easier when using InDesign. Let me show you a couple tips that I'll be going over in this session. On my screen, I have a slide for a presentation deck, and I'd like to place an image of the New York skyline. Now, instead of having to go to Adobe Stock, for example, and search for that specific image, we can generate one using text to image right in InDesign. To access text to image, make your way up to Window, and then choose Text to Image Beta. You can see I already have mine open here, and I'm just going to tear it off and place the panel right next to the image frame. Next, I'll click on the image frame, and in the text prompt field, I'll type my text prompt. For this example, I'll type in New York skyline, comma, dramatic sunset. Under the content type, I'll choose photo. Under the aspect ratio, you have some dimension options here, but because this is a custom dimension, I'm going to choose frame dimensions. Once you have those settings in place, simply click generate. That'll take a few moments to generate three variations and we could take a look at them now. You can see InDesign generated three options for me. There's the first, there's the second, and here's the third. I think I like this second option the best. However, if you're not satisfied with these three variations, you can simply click generate again to generate three more variations. Let's look at these ones. Here are the next three variations. There's the first, here's the second, and there's the third. They keep getting better as you generate them. Next, let's look at extending images in InDesign using Generative Expand. I'm on page two of the same document and I'd like to add a background image to this slide. I'm just going to drag and drop the image right into the frame. Now, if I go to my layers panel, you can see I have a gradient feather applied, which I'm going to hide momentarily. You'll see that the image doesn't fill the frame that I've placed on the page. Now to do that, I could go to my fitting options, click on it, and then choose fill frame proportionally. But for this specific example, I'd like to fill the frame without increasing the size of the image. Instead, I'm going to use generative expand to fill those missing areas. The first thing I want to do is double click the content and I want to shift it to the right. That still leaves me with this space on the left side that I'd like to address. So I'm going to click on the image once and open the text to image window again. And if I tear it off, you'll see once again that I'm presented with another option here for generative expand. You'll see I have text to image still, but now I can expand this image as well. Now, if you have a text prompt, you can go ahead and enter it there, but I want InDesign to recognize the background content and fill the missing areas accordingly. So I'll leave that empty and just click generate. Again, that'll take a few moments to generate three variations again, and let's take a look at them. You'll see InDesign does a fantastic job at recognizing the background in this image and coming up with three variations that make it a seamless transition in the background. Now, if I reset my workspace, go back to my layers panel and turn on that gradient feather, you can see we have a nice background image and I didn't have to increase the size of it. I just filled the missing areas using Generative Expand. Thanks for watching and I hope you found these tips helpful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to join my session at the Creative Pro Design and AI Summit hosted online December 9th and 10th. See you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.